The PlayStation 3 has been pretty outdated with the PlayStation 4 being out for a while now and this doesn't mean that PS3 games aren't any fun to play. The PS4 doesn't support PS3 backwards compatibility so you won't be able to play your PS3 games on your latest console. Now we have a new emulator for PS3 games on Windows and Linux called RPCS3. It is still in development but you can download it from their website and already use it. Not even close to all games are supported yet, but they are const constantly adding more to it, which is great. So here you have the minimum requirements on screen. Um, these are pretty basic, but I do recommend you having a mid-end to high-end system to run any games. And here are, is a compatibility part. And 11% of all the games are actually playable right now. And a ton aren't. So you can search up some games here if you want to play them. And now you can go to download and here you can download Windows for Windows and here for Linux. I'm on Windows so I'm going to click this one. It will take you to decide where you can click the file you want to download. Over here I can put it in PS3 and this is my emulator folder and save. You do need WinRAR or 7-zip and I will leave a link to WinRAR in the description to actually Un unpack the actual folder. So you can just extract it and it will make a new folder. And over here you can launch the actual launcher. Here's some stuff you can read it if you want to, but I'm just going to click I have read the quick start guide and do not show again. So now let's continue. Now go into configuration. On the CPU side you don't have to change anything, except if you really know what you're doing. Over here I recommend having the render settings at OpenGL, it is the most updated render setting. You can also ch choose Vulkan or DirectX 12, but OpenGL is way better. The resolution I will um, leave it at 720p, because the game I will play is only at 720p. There is no upscaling yet for this emulator. The aspect ratio is 60 by 9 and the frame limit should be at 60 because the PS3 can't output anything more than 60 FPS. I won't change the audio. In the I.O. I will change the controller to my X input which is an Xbox controller. You can also use a PS4 controller and a joystick and also your keyboard. I don't have any camera so unknown. I do have a keyboard which I will set to basic and my mouse is at basic. My system language is English of course. Network I will leave it at, as disconnected but some games need to have it at IP obtained. And for the emulator I will leave all these settings right here. Now click save. And these settings are saved. Now the next thing you need to do is actually get the firmware. It is from the official PlayStation website you can download the firmware for the PS3. It is currently version 4.81. Click download now and I also made a folder for this one on PS3 firmware and it is a pop file it's already there but I'm going to replace it and replace. I will speed up all downloads so you guys know it's not a fake or hoax it is actually a real emulator. I want to download now this one is done we can go back to the actual emulator click file install firmware Go to the place where you downloaded your firmware, for me it's PlayStation 3 and firmware. Click the file and click open. This will take a second and not too long. Do not show again. And now you can click file and boot game. I have one game which is GeForce. And as you can see you need to have a blast file. And you only have to click the folder and select the folder and it will automatically automatically boot up and this will take a second because it has to do all these things. All these windows will only be on the first launch of any game and if you boot up the game again this won't happen and it is really quick.
And now I can press the start button, and load a new game, normal. And as you can see, this game works properly. Some games which aren't supported yet, they run actually, actually terrible at 7 FPS. So I think this is enough proof and you can just um, play the game as you want to. It is a pretty fun game. And let's exit again. And as you can see, if you double click the game over here, it is way quicker than before and it instantly loads and everything works fine. So I will close the game again. And this is how to set up your emulator. I hope you liked this video. If you thought it was helpful, be sure to let me know by dropping a like down below and comment what you thought of it. And, hope, and I hope I can see you in the next one.